Hello everybody, welcome back to Freddy Fish 4, the case of the hogfish rustlers of Briny Gulch. We saved your shrimp last time, and I love how the sheriff is the shrimpiest guy in town, it's hilarious. But also, we still got more to do, so let's continue on. For example, we haven't even explored all of the map yet. I wonder what's over this way. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Howdy, bro. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my bad buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you, like the letter U. Just you? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, um, um, no, now, what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. Well, who decided to make the slowest guy in the world the mailman? Hey, you! That's your wagon over there, right? Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way, though. A little. He's inching a little bit forward, but he also drops the letter. How long has it been since your wagon broke down? A little over two years. It looks like you've gone about five feet since then. Yep, making pretty good time, pretty good time. Yeah, he is inching forward a little bit, just a few pixels every so often. So you might think, will he eventually go off screen? No, he's eventually going to turn around and pick up that letter and then start over again. <laughs> Isn't that fun? It looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. <sighs> the wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. I wonder where we could get a nut. Is this your seahorse? Yep, his name's Elmer. Hi, Elmer. Well, hmm. You can't even get have you can't even have Elmer deliver the mail without the, the wagon. Also, it's been two years since he's. Oh wow. Do you just have that one delivery to make? Yep. After this one, it should be time for me to retire. Well, the new mailman, I would not object to that. Hmm. Are this, you ready to start? This is a new cool little mini game that they put in. Here's a fun game. Pop the bubbles before they run into you. It's like a little shooter game. Almost. What's cool is that when you shoot, it actually propels you in the opposite direction. And you bounce off the walls. It's, it's well thought out. If only your shots were bounce off the walls as well. Oh man, I'm st <laughs> It is very difficult to play this on such a small window. Oh, jeez. Yeah, no, I can't do that. <laughs> Can we quit? No, I'm gonna quit. <laughs> because I'm playing on Virtual Box, my cursor can leave the window. So, yeah, it's like impossible to get him away from the walls. That's that's fun, sure. <laughs> All right, good luck delivering the mail, dude. Hopefully, you will do it eventually. This poor guy—he's been waiting like two years for his package. No wonder he's so depressed. 
Well, we'll, we'll help him out. D no worries, we will help him out. Also, now that we've got the rope, we can go back to Le Cabaret. Why don't we take another look at your team? Sure! Don't use any old Strina's dental floss, kids. Get specific dental floss. Come on, Preferably Luther. waxed. Let's try this. How do people see out of these things? Oh, wait. There's an eye hole. I think you could use a little bit smaller hat. They make smaller ones? Yes, they do, Luther. All right. What about cake? Will you eat cake? Here, try it. But it's chocolate. Yeah. Well, he, he couldn't even consult the Google. We got the hat unstuck from between your teeth. A little floss was all we needed. Well, that's a relief. It was driving me crazy. Can we borrow it? Sure. I'd only get it caught in my teeth again anyway. Thank you. Thanks for getting it out. You're welcome. Who'd you eat to make it get stuck in your teeth in the first place? So the guy is having trouble feeding the hogfish. He, he didn't even, like, Google, what do hogfish eat? Or even, like, go to the library and be like, hey, I wonder what hogfish eat. <laughs> He's just like, let's just go down the list. Cake. Who doesn't like cake? Well, normally solid strategy, but unfortunately it's not going to work with the hogfish. <laughs> I love this area. This area is so pretty. I didn't particularly want to do that, but alright. Hey, that sail is keeping the water from coming down here. That's cool. Gee, there's a porthole. Let's try to get over there. We can't get in there. The water level is too low. Yeah, we actually see the above water area here. It's pretty cool. Anyhow. Back down here. I think there's a handle missing from this crank. It's Spy Fox! What a reference! There! It fits perfectly! Now we've got a handle on that tail! <laughs> ha ha ha! I like the pun. Here, let me help! Not Luther, you are. <laughs> oh, that's better. I always loved that part as a kid. Like, the, why is that room spinning? <laughs> and now the water level increased dramatically. Hey, look! This place is filled with water now. I'm not sure if it would fill up this much, but I mean, all right, now we can swim in here. Yeah, kegs filled with stuff. What's this? It's lemongrass. Is that anything like lemonade? <laughs> it's a little more sour than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding. 
kind of like it, though. Luffy just, like, literally ate his body weight in lemongrass. Like, literally. <laughs> That's insane. It's pepper. Really? And the best one of all. <laughs> it's cayenne. Cayenne? Um, cayenne is kind of hot. It feels like my tongue's on fire! Is it? No, it looks okay. Well, he got over that real fast, probably because he's in water. So, <laughs> kind of, I didn't realize this until now, but this is a, probably a spice ship carrying spices across the different countries. Or maybe not. No, there seems to be some modern day devices in here. Oh, boy! Another purple sea urchin. You think they just grew here or something? Luther. They do just grow here. <laughs> really? Wow! <laughs> and look, they're carrying MSG as well. I didn't notice that as a kid, but yeah, MSG. <laughs> look at this cute spice container. This could come in handy. Yes, indeed it could. Is this like the boat of the month calendar? Sure seems like it. Alright, so this is kind of... So, we can use the screwdriver to get these letters. But here's the thing, it's hard to tell where this is actually referring to. So what's interesting is it changes the cursor to be the screwdriver. The cursor... The, the the actual like cursor collision is in the upper left corner of the screwdriver not in the upper right <laughs> so you might be like oh yeah I want to get the S so you click here and you might end up getting the M by mistake so what you want to do is like have it completely overlapping with the S that's got it as a kid, I would have some trouble where I would, like, use the screwdriver on the S and it would get the M or the G instead. And I'm like, why? It's just, it might take a few tries. But we, we need the S for swanky belt buckle. Oh, wait, hang on. Before we leave, we have the seasoning container. Let's use it to get some pepper. container of pepper. I don't know how that would contain it because it's a seasoning container with holes in it. Oh. Alright, you hog pigs, pay attention. I've gone to a lot of trouble and expense to hire these sheep heads to jump over this fence for you. So count them and go to sleep. Please. Please just go to sleep. Please. You know, if he wasn't like a villain and like rustling hogfish and all, I'd actually feel bad for him, but I don't. <laughs> because he shouldn't have stolen the hogfish. Anyhow. <laughs> I don't know how the seasoning container works. Because we're, again, we're underwater. <laughs> it's a spice and, container and it's in a jar with holes in it. <laughs> so, yeah, I need, I need to get over myself, I think. 
Now we have got the 10 gallon hat, but it's not purple yet. We only have a white one, which is not what's in for WrestleMania magazine. Anyhow, we can buy a nut. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly. Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> sure it is. Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the fabulous pickle fit wheel nut is all yours. We have three purple sea urchins. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back and exchange it for a different one. Well, that's we here nice. at Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut believe that customer service is our primary business. So we need a, one that will fit the wheel on the mail uh, truck, and that was a circular. So we need a circular nut. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Can we buy another wheel nut? We don't need another wheel nut. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in? You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? Well, all I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. Uh-huh. Well, that doesn't seem... That, that doesn't seem okay. We got the mob going on under the sea. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I don't want to buy the gum, even though I can afford it. I'd rather have two purple sea urchins than a stick of rubber-flavored gum. <laughs> just... just... that's my opinion. Here, try some pepper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, Luther. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Kelp mine. I always thought that was supposed to say help mine. Like, help, I'm in a mine. This is not okay. <laughs> well, that was rude. <laughs> oh, hey, someone just left a harmonica in here. How convenient for us. Is it broken? I think maybe you just need some lessons. Hmm, this is harder than it looks. It is hard to make the harmonica sound good because you end up blowing down a bunch of the holes at once. And you're probably only it's supposed to blow down one or two at once. <laughs> Yeah, I have a harmonica, and I've actually played it a few times in recordings, and, uh, two mixed, uh, reactions. Some people liked it, but it, I'm not a good player by any stretch of the imagination. I'm sure some people are covering their ears. Hey, Gil, you know how to play the harmonica? I don't think I need that right now. You don't? Okay. Don't worry, man. 
We got Monica back for you. Here, would you like this harmonica? Would I? Oh boy! Well, this is great. Oh, here, have this lovely bow tie in exchange with my compliments. Thanks. Oh, he seems nice. And he seems so happy now. Thank you so much. Now, I can play the blues again. Yeah, he can. Alright, I think that's a good spot to stop it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We will probably be finishing up this path. We only have to get the belt buckle left, and we have the letter S already. Oh, and we still need to find a way to color this hat. It's a 10 it's a gallon purple. hat. And then we've got to save the hogfish, but actually we can probably do all of that in the next video. So thanks again for watching, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.